Hey everyone! Recently I went on a trip with a couple of my friends in addition to my dad and a couple of his friends and we went to the American River to go rafting. The first day of the trip we do the gorge which is the lower section of the American River and me and David decide to do the upper section of the gorge on an inflatable paddleboard which ends up being really sketchy but really fun. The upper section of the gorge is a little mellower but it still has some rapids and it's, it's just a really fun time. One more thing before we start the video. Rapids are classified from class 1 to 5 from easiest to hardest. So before we jump into a rapid, I will include both the name of the rapid and the class, just to clarify that. All right, let's jump into the video. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No. Hey, hey, hey! To be clear, we had the right of way here. People that are surfing the hole should always look out for people that are coming down the river, because people coming down the river can't stop and they always have the right of way. The river is actually much more powerful when you're level on it than when you're high up in a raft and this made it very tiring to try and get downstream. However, one benefit of the smaller watercraft was that it was easier to navigate through the rocks, which you'll see in this next rapid. Alright, stop, 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 stop. As you can see, there are some moves we made that would not be possible in a big raft. Another benefit of a small paddleboard is that we can fit through places that a big raft can't, as you can see in this little creek called Beaver Creek. Oh, oh my god. Wait, we were going so fast. Holy crap. Holy shoot, we went so fast. Sometimes, though, we were overconfident in the ability of the stand-up paddleboard to kind of float over the shallower section. <laughs> Other times, though, we forgot that we were in a small, light boat and thought that we could just plow through stuff that we really couldn't. That was so sick. <laughs> this next clip kind of shows how easy it is to pick your line with a small paddleboard. Go too close to the rock or else you will have a drop. Oh shoot! Oh! 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 Shoot. oh that was so no action! That was so Get down! Get down, GoPro! GoPro, are you still there? Hi, Ryder. I gotta give a shout out to Ryder. It was his birthday today and he absolutely sent this cliff jump, which looks a lot higher in person than it does in this video. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video this week. I know it was a little different. There's like a completely different sport, but I hope you guys still enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And next week will also be a rafting video, but the week after that will be back to mountain biking. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.